Good day, grade 1. Today, we're going to have a lesson that will surely be very helpful for you. And the title of our lesson is... Adding numbers with sums up to 18 using the properties of addition. And we're going to start our lesson with our story time. And the title of our story is Pick the Fruits. Now... One day, Jed went to the farm of Janet's family. She showed him their trees, especially their apple trees. She asked him if he wanted to pick apples, and he said yes. Janet picked nine apples, while Jed also picked nine apples. How many apples did they pick in all? To find out how many apples did the two children pick, we are going to do addition. And remember, addition is putting two or more numbers together. Now, to find the answer, we are going to add the number of apples. Now, we have here 9, which is the number of apples that Janet picked, plus... 9 also, which is the number of apples that Jed picked. Now, 9 plus 9, we have, very good, 18. And these two numbers here, the 9 and 9, they are what we call the addends. And the addends are the numbers to be added. And now, after we add the addends, then we will have what we call the sum. And the sum is the total value of the numbers added. And this is the vertical way of doing addition. Now, this is the horizontal way of adding numbers. So again, we have 9 plus 9 equals 18. And again, we have here the addends and, of course, the sum. So, the answer or sum to our number sentence is 18 apples. Now, addition has properties. The first is what we call the identity property of addition. So, for example, we have here 9 plus 0. It is equals... 9 and 0 plus 9 is equals 9. When 0 is added to a number or when a number is added to 0, the sum is the number itself. Now we have another example. 18 plus 0 equals 18 and 0 plus 18 equals 18. There you go. Next, we have what we call the commutative property of addition. For example, we have 8 plus 6 equals 14. And 6 plus 8 equals 14. Now, changing the order of the addends does not change the sum. Now another example. We have 8 plus 9 equals 17. And 9 plus 8 equals 17. There. Now we have this time the associative property of addition. For example, open parenthesis 6 plus 3, close parenthesis, plus 9 is equals to 9 plus 9 equals 18. And 6 plus open parenthesis, 3 plus 9, close parenthesis, then we have 6 plus 12 equals 
18. Now always remember, my dear grade 1, that when we have the associative property of addition, the numbers that are inside the open and closed parentheses should be added first. So we should add 6 plus 3 first. That's why we have 9. And here, we added 3 plus 9 first. That's why we have 12. So, when adding more than two numbers, grouping of addends should be done by using parentheses. This show what addends should be added first. Changing the group of addends does not affect the sum. So, another example, open parentheses, 7 plus 3, close parentheses, plus 8, we have... 10 plus 8 equals 18. And 7 plus open parenthesis, 3 plus 8, close parenthesis, equals 7 plus 11 equals 18. There you go. Now remember, addition is putting two or more numbers together. The numbers to be added are called addends. And the answer is called sum. And remember, there are properties of addition. Identity property, commutative property, and associative property. Wow! Now, we already know the different properties of addition that we can use to add numbers so that we will have the sum of 18. Good job!